Hi there, I'm Ben Sunderland, Sales Engineer out of APAC, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of a form integration, an example form integration with a third party form solution into Jive. So let's get started. This is a Jive instance, and here's my form demo uh, group that I've set up. It's just a normal group. And as you can see, I've embedded into this page here a form which is from a third party. So it's a web based form solution called JotForm, and that allows me to submit forms. Then what you can see is the result of the form submission in this table. This is all live data, which again I've embedded. And then what we've done also is an activity stream of the results as well. So we have an RSS feed for each submission, each submission and also a Dropbox document which contains the submission. So I can go in and preview, preview the Dropbox document and there's the content of the submission. Also the RSS content, you can see that's kind of clearly laid out there as well, which is kind of nice. So let's have a look at, uh, let's do an example form submission so you can see the workflow of that. So I'm going to just fill in this form. So let's submit that. The submission's done. So immediately Joe blogs, that's the form that I submitted. Uh, so you can see that there, that record is there. And in the activity stream, you can see the submission. There it is loading up of from the Dropbox. So there's Joe Blogs, that's the form details I just submitted. And the RSS will come a bit later on. I think it's every 10 minutes the Streamlaunch sync runs. So we'll just have to wait for, we'll come back to the RSS. So let's have a look how this, this works. So firstly, we'll switch over to the, the form. So this is Jot form. This is where I've built the actual form. So it's free to, to join up. I recommend signing up with their, their free version. And then just create a new form. It's pretty intuitive. Click edit to play around with the form. Here's just a basic uh, name address form I've put together. And uh, the interesting part is the, the integration points. So firstly, you can have your email address. You can be notified via email address. I tried actually to have that email into the group, but there's a few things with spam. The email actually gets blocked by our spam blockers. So uh, that might be an, another more interesting integration point. Publish is where you publish the, the actual form, how you embed the form. So I usually click embed and I find that iframe or source code works the best. iframe is the, le the least, so you can just copy that in and I'll show you where that goes in a sec. And then the integration points. I've got Dropbox, so there's a whole range of different integration points. Um, many of these we connect to, but they don't all work well. So I played around with Google Drive, Spreadsheets, Dropbox. I found that Dropbox was the fastest and worked the best. And so what you can do is if you um, go into the integration details, first of all, you authenticate it to your Dropbox account, and then you type the name of the top level folder in which it's going to drop the uh, PDF of the, of the results. Okay, so that's pretty much how you do it. And then when you set up the group in Jive, you must uh, connect, you make the group uh, Dropbox enabled. So if I go into the settings, you can see it's uh, Dropbox is the external file storage. So that's how I did that. You basically, that's an add-on in the back end, uh, which is delivered via stream once. So once you've set that up, uh, that will allow you to pull in the Dropbox document into this particular group, into the storage of this particular group. So that's how you do the Dropbox integration. Uh, the RSS feed integration, I'll show you how you do that. So again, if you 
if you go back to the forms, the top level forms area, and then if you go into reports, then there's two types of reports. So there's the table report and RSS. So the RSS is basically gives you the RSS URL and you can specify which, which columns you want. And then you can go continue and then you can grab, that's the RSS feed and you plug that into the RSS feed in the Jive group and that's done. So I'll just show you where that is in the, in the group. So you just come into, again, you go into configure you click add and you select RSS from here and then you go into configure and you paste in the the uh, URL to the X to the RSS feed and that's quite straightforward so that's that's kind of that done the other thing from here is the report so that the report that I embedded is actually done here so if you click on generate a report um, so if you go let's go back up a second and go add new report you can specify all of these different reports that it will out, it will dump out a list of the whole all entries, all submissions. So I did HTML, which you can click on that. And then it will you you define again the headings. So you don't really want those two usually. Actually you want date, not IP address. And then click next. And then it gives you a lovely iframe which you can grab. So that's how I got the iframe which I embedded. Let's have a look at how I embedded those two things. So the form, so the report which I just showed you, I got from the HTML, the iframe link there. For the actual form itself, you just go into edit form and you click publish. And uh, embed and you grab the iframe. And you click copy that code. So you've got the iframe source for the form and you've got the iframe for the report. So you've got both of those from, from here. So armed with that, you create a new page for your group. So the way I've embedded these, these two um, iframes, which I showed you earlier, was using a, an HTML add-on, which I just found the most flexible. So the way to do that is as administrator you go to add-ons and you find the HTML tile and you add that in it's pretty straightforward and then when you go back to a group that becomes available so when you click in to edit your page you can just edit the HTML content and all I did was replace everything in between the HTML tags with the iframe and I did the same technique for the form and the same technique for the report uh, and you might just need to tinker with the height uh, and submit that and then that, that does it that pretty much embeds the form it's very straightforward so the same with the submission report so again I just added an HTML and pasted that in there. You can see there's the HTML for the report. And then click Submit. And that's pretty much it. The only other things that you might want to do as an extension is um, look at some of the other different integration points. So JotForm is one of the better ones in terms of flexibility. There's all these different areas. I tried embedding, embedding a Google spreadsheet in using our Google integration, um, but I had issues with, with getting that to work. I'm sure there's a way of getting it to work. Also Box uh, and Google Drive didn't, didn't work the first time I tried, um, but I'm sure you'll be able to get it to work. That's it from me. Thanks. Thank you.